I'll come get me. Come get me. It's ghetto here. I don't. What's up, Calvary? It's your girl, Naisha Nicole, and I am back again with another video. It's been so long since I've done a makeup video, y'all. Like, this is the first makeup video I have done in a long time. So, I really hope I get all the steps right and everything. But, I am going to be doing, like, a little Q&A while I do my makeup. Uh, so, it's not a full, like, get ready with me. It's just a, I'm going to answer your questions, chit-chat type of makeup video. So, uh, thank you so much for clicking clicking on it and watching if you are not already make sure you join the Calvary click that subscribe button make sure you give this video a big old thumbs up and leave me a comment down below if you have a question for me and you don't hear me answer it on here leave me a comment down below and I'll be sure to answer it in the next Q&A that I do but without further ado let's get into this face this look let's go and as you can see I'm in a new space so we're gonna try and see how this works out might have to change some things around at some point really get a grasp on how this is all supposed to flow i hope everything is in focus because also trying some different things with my camera this everything just new new background new setup new ring light new camera everything i have my questions here so that i can answer your questions all right, so let's get started. I'm actually going to go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera because those take a long time. Before I get started, I'm going to go ahead and use my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. It's been so long since I have done a makeup video. Like, I'm going to try and tell y'all everything I'm using because I think I have started to use a few different things than what I used to use. But this isn't really like a tutorial makeup video it's a Q&A chit chat video so I'm gonna tell y'all the products that I'm using but you know as as usual use what works for you and then once I get uh, my primer all over my face I still haven't done my eyebrows yet yes I know but once I get my um primer all over my face I'm going to use my NYX HD finishing powder this is a banana powder and I'm going to use this this is actually a contour brush but I'm going to use it to set my primer in the places that I crease the most I don't know I just feel like it helps not crease I don't know again not a tutorial video just showing y'all because I did have somebody that was actually a question on one of my other videos or a reel that I did I think it was a reel or a TikTok video. So if you're not following me on Instagram or TikTok, make sure you do. I have all of my links down in the description box on all of my videos. So um, yeah, but somebody did ask me about what is it that I put on my face after I do my um, primer. It's just finishing powder. And I use this to help not crease and it does actually help my foundation stay set longer. Okay, so now I got my eyebrows done and I'm looking good and crazy. Look all ashy and dead. That's fine though, because we're gonna fix it. Fix it, Jesus. Fix it like you say you would. All right, let's get into these questions. So I asked these questions over Instagram and Facebook, and I got some weird questions, like a lot of weird questions. I'm assuming they were bots, but. Um, I'm going to be using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup Foundation. Okay. And I am in the color 6N1. Again, I've said this a million times. I don't know why that matters. Before I get into that, let me spot correct. So the first question that I'm going to answer is, can we go on a date? Um, now I don't even know if the person that sent me this question follows or is a subscriber on my YouTube channel. Um, and I did answer the question already. Long story short, sure, as soon as you plan it and tell me where we're going, we can go on a date. I'm dating. So, yeah, we can go on a date, sir. But I am old school, so it ain't gonna be you dropping my, um, questions on my story 
consider that as asking me out. Like, we got to talk, like, have some conversation. I, ask me my favorite color, what's my favorite food, and all that kind of stuff. Like, ask me questions, like, regular questions. And then, yes, we can go on a date. You can take me out. We can meet up and go somewhere or something like that. But you don't talk to me, so. But that goes for anybody that's wondering that because single, real single. So, yes, hit me up. Talk to me. Let's see how we vibe. Oh, shit. Way too much. Next question. Most embarrassing moment. That's actually a hard question. Like I look, I didn't really look at these questions to think about how I would answer them beforehand because I wanted this to be like a real raw video. But, um... Most embarrassing moment. My most embarrassing moment, nobody actually saw it, but I was embarrassed myself. Like, I was embarrassed right by my damn self. Like, nobody was around. Nobody saw it. And only a few select people even know about this. So, I'm being very vulnerable with y'all. <laughs> right now because nobody knows this even happened but when i was pregnant with tyler um i was maybe i had to be about eight months because it wasn't too long after this happened that i went on maternity leave but um <laughs> i'm embarrassed to tell y'all this but i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna start it um i was one of the last people to leave leave work. So I used to work a different schedule from everyone else because I had a problem with coming in on time when I was pregnant. Like, I, did, I still don't like to get out of the bed early in the morning, but it was real bad when I was pregnant. So everybody else worked from 8 to 5, and I worked from 8.30 to 5.30. So, you know, after a while, there was nobody else in the building but me. And especially if I had something else you know, that would I would normally have to stay late for anyway if I were the regular schedule. Sometimes I wouldn't leave the building until like 6, 6.30. So nobody else was in the building except for me and security. And I had to pee so freaking bad, y'all. Like, I mean, so bad. Like, I don't know why I thought I could hold it. Like, I have eight pounds sitting on my bladder I'm big as hell, waddling everywhere I walk, and I just knew I was going to be able to, I worked on the third floor, so I just knew I was going to be able to make it downstairs and to my car, get in my car, and make it home. No, no baby, I was not going to be able to do that. <sighs> So, I make my way into the elevator and downstairs, and I have, there's a floor, the first floor, like, you could cut through the first floor to get to a shortcut to the parking lot. So, I was going to do that little cut through, and I got halfway through the little cut through, and I was like, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. So, there is a bathroom, but it's, like, at the very front entrance of the first floor. And so, I turn around and go back to the front entrance. I make it into the bathroom. And I'm getting ready to sit down, well, not sit down, but squat over the toilet. And baby, the floodgates open. <laughs> I peed all over that stall. I don't know who security is. And if any of my coworkers watch this video, I don't want to hear y'all say nothing. You can leave me a comment, but don't say nothing to me about this ever again in life because I'm still so embarrassed about it. But like, I was pregnant, and I know pregnant women pee on themselves all the time, but it was the fact that I was at work. And, yeah, somebody had to clean that up. But, luckily, I had on a dress. So, I literally just took my underwear off and threw them in the trash can and kept on by my merry way. Like, I cleaned up what I could. I didn't just leave a mess for them. Like, I cleaned up what I could, but they needed towels and mops and shit. Like, I'm still embarrassed about that, and I can't believe I just told y'all that. But yes, that is my most embarrassing moment. And nobody was even around to see it but me. I'm not going to do anything too heavy because I'm not 
going anywhere really i don't think i might go out to dinner or something later on tonight but as it stands right now i'm just getting my makeup i'm just doing my makeup to do videos but anyway i'm going to be using my jacqueline hill morphe by jacqueline hill jacqueline hill by morphe palette so i'm just going to be using some neutral colors i'm not going to do anything too fancy. all right next question Am I taken or am I single? So I already kind of answered this question. I am very single. And the fact that um, I got this question more than once. I, do y'all not be hearing me? I am so single. Like, I mean, I'm dating unsuccessfully. But I, I'm dating. Four out of ten stars do not really recommend. But I will go back. Like, I'm dating. I am single as a dollar bill. Y'all come get me. Come get me. It's ghetto here. I don't like it. I need two incomes. I need somebody to hold me. I need somebody to listen to me. Other Like, I know the Calvary listens to me, but, you know, I can't talk about everything with y'all. I need somebody to come get me. Pick me up. Get my. I got my spend the night bag ready. Like, y'all don't be hearing me when I say I'm single. Obviously, I'm very single. Um, but I am looking forward to a relationship. Like just the other day, my best friend said, catch your flights, not feelings. No, baby. I'm going to catch some feelings. I'm ready to catch some feelings up in here. I want all the feelings of the hearts. Like I want to be somebody's bae, somebody's boo, somebody's good thing. Like I'm already a good thing just waiting to be found. So yes, I'm single. Next question. Who is your favorite YouTuber? I have a lot of favorite YouTubers. I don't have one specific one because, like, I watch a lot of different um, things on YouTube. Like, I don't just stick to beauty, um, the beauty fashion side of YouTube. Like, I'm all over the place. I like, I, I like to watch a lot of home decor videos, DIY videos. Like, I be watching stuff like how to build your own fence and how to build your own retaining wall, stuff like that. Like, I don't just stick to the um, the beauty side, the beauty and fashion side of YouTube. But to answer your question, my favorite beauty YouTuber, um, everybody knows is Jackie Ina. If you've been watching my videos for a while, then you know I love me some Jackie Ina. Um, still do to this day. Love me some Jackie Ina. I also love um, our nail online. I like her videos. She, I, I think she does more than just beauty and YouTube, but I mean beauty and YouTube, beauty and fashion. But I think you know that's like the majority of what her videos are. So that's what I consider her is a beauty YouTuber. Now, um, I do like again a lot of other things on YouTube. My favorite lifestyle YouTuber is. Aaliyah's face I love her channel like I get her alerts and I watch every video sis puts out like if it's a Aaliyah video out I'm watching it right then who else do I like um I like young lady business like she is doing her thing I've watched her channel grow because she really wasn't that big until last like I mean when I say big I mean like over 200,000 subscribers like she has really grown <laughs> over the last year or so and i love her channel too she's so cute like you ever meet one of those people that's just like always bubbly and always like happy even when they're sad like she had a couple videos when she was going through her home buying process um on her channel where she had lost the bid on her house that she wanted and so of course this was sad but even in her making a sad video it was happy like it was not happy but it wasn't all down and stuff like you empathize with her but i don't know she in invokes the feelings and i like her channel oh when it comes to like home decor and style i love 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 kiva brent and um her channel is diy with kb so i love kiva brent and i love um arvin alano those are two of my favorite channels for home decor and style yeah that's about it um, like I said, I watch a lot of different things on YouTube, so I have different 
people that I like to watch for different things. I don't just watch fashion YouTube. I don't just watch beauty YouTube. I don't just watch home decor. Um, I don't just watch lifestyle because also my channel is a combination of all of that stuff. So I'm always learning, looking to learn from the next person, looking to see what's on trend, looking to see, you know, when it comes to especially fashion and style and home decor, you know, these people have been doing this a lot longer than I have. Let's be honest, I'm still a baby channel. Um, these people have been doing this longer than I have. So I'm learning from them as I'm being entertained. So yeah, those are my favorite people. And I'm just going to go ahead and clean this up a little bit. I'm going to be using my Il Maquillage F-U-C-K. I'm Flawless Conceal. Next question. Ooh. What is the relationship like between me and my son's father, my baby daddy? Well, sis, I mean, to be completely honest with you, there isn't a relationship. Like, <laughs> we don't really talk. Like, I'm trying to answer this question with grace, and I'm trying to still be open with y'all, but there isn't really a relationship. Like... I want to be able to say that I can reach out to him when something happens with my son or we only talk for the sake of my son, but we don't even talk for my son. Like, um, I have reached out to him at times when my son has gone through things or like recently my son was having some issues at school where he was just acting out for some reason. And... You know, I reached out to him and let him know, hey, we got some things going on. We need to talk about it. And he did respond. I'm not going to say he didn't respond. But, I mean, I could sit here and say he didn't respond in the way that I wanted him to. But, okay, so nothing for nothing. He asked me a bunch of questions. But nothing was really a response as to how we go about handling the situation. So... There was nothing really I could do with the question. So ultimately, I ended up having to handle the situation myself, uh, which that's just what it is between us. Like, we don't really have a relationship. He feels like I was wrong in some way for making him financially responsible for his responsibility. And see, here's the thing. And I'm 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 not gonna go down this road, but I'ma look down it. I'm not gonna go down the road, but I'm gonna look down it real quick. I want men to stop. If it's a man watching this video right now, I want y'all to stop acting like your kid's mother is a villain, but when they put y'all on child support or that they're bitter in some way or it has something to do with them and you, it has absolutely nothing to do with you it has to do with you taking care of your responsibility as a father and nine times out of ten i will say that i don't you know i can't speak for everyone but for the vast majority of women that i know that have been in this situation we don't even really want to put y'all on child support we want y'all to take care of your shit without us having to tell you it's about accountability and responsibility. It has nothing to do with us wanting you. It has nothing to do with us having some type of vendetta against you or not liking you or hating you or any of that. We just want you to take care of your shit as a grown-ass man. All right, I'm off that road. But, um, yeah, when it comes to my son's father, like, I don't really talk about him on my social medias or anything like that, but... Honestly, this is the only reason he getting some um, shine on my channel right now is because somebody asked the question and I'm going to answer the question. But we don't have a relationship. That's pretty much what it boils down to. We don't have a relationship and he doesn't have a relationship with his son. Period. I know it's a lot of people out here that's going to find that hard to believe because of the stories that he tells. But I can only be honest. Next question next caller <laughs> all right see now i feel like y'all in my business i'm gonna use my anastasia beverly hills translucent setting powder to set the places that i just did a concealer as you can see i did not contour um because again i'm just gonna be doing videos i'm not too concerned about that 
and I'm not even going to do a heavy, I'm not going to bake really. I'm just going to set. Next question, and I feel like y'all in my business, is what was my credit score when I bought my house? I'm not going to answer that, honestly. I'm going to just go ahead and get y'all true tea. I'm not going to answer that question. I will, however, tell you my credit score was above a 600 and below an 850. And that's true tea. I mean, I'm not not gonna lie to y'all but i feel like you in my business and i'm gonna do a whole video honestly i know i'm just joking when i say i feel like you in my business but um i'm gonna do a whole video about you know what it took for me to get into my house because i it, i've gotten you know similar questions not that direct um but i've gotten similar <laughs> questions about you know the process and credit and what people need to do and again, I have worked in finance, the financial industry, for over 10 years. So I do have a little bit of insight to it. And like I've, I've commented, you know, responded to y'all comments on a lot of my home videos, especially my um, closing video. Um, a lot of people need to know. A lot of people have questions. And when one wins, we all win. So I'm here to give back. And I want y'all to know, because home ownership, you know, it might not be as important to one person as it is to another. But even if you're not interested in owning your own home, honey, get you some investment properties, because that's where the money is. I'm just going to tell you. Real estate is where the money is. Where the money reside. Where the money reside. Where the money reside. It's in real estate. Get you some property. Even if it's not for you to live in get you an investment property let a property management company handle it i'm not telling you what to do i'm just telling you what i know i'm gonna do a little bit of blush and i'm not gonna tell y'all what this is or who it's from because this was supposed to have been um, an affiliate brand and i didn't get paid so I, like uh my credit score was above a 600 and below a 850. And we're going to leave it there. You got to watch my home buying video to get more in detail. <laughs> All right. Next question is, what is my biggest regret in life? I can't really say that I have any regrets. Do I wish I had done some things differently? Um, Maybe. So, I'm 100% that person, like, if we could travel back in time, I'm that person that's just going to sit in the corner the whole time and just look and hope nobody sees me because I feel like if you change something, it just alters everything. And I'm happy with my life right now. Like, there are some things that I wish were better a little bit, but I wouldn't change anything about my life. Um, like, yeah, I don't want to be single no more. Uh, I wish I had a million dollars just sitting in the bank, but... I know that those things will change over time and it's not something I'm pressed about, so to speak. Um, so yeah, but a regret, I don't have any regrets. Um, I wish I had to learn about being financially stable and how to be financially stable and what it takes and credit and stuff like that uh sooner because um i feel like again a lot of things would be different if i had had that knowledge sooner but i can't say I, that that's a regret of mine i just didn't know you don't know what you don't know you know but as far as something that i've done personally that i wish i could change I don't have no regrets. I love my life. I love my son. I love my family. I love, you know, the, the positive things that are happening in my life. Um, I feel like I'm on the path to greatness. I'm already great, um, but I feel like I'm on the path to even bigger and better things. So I don't have any regrets. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't have any regrets. So the next question is, where would I move to 
if I were to move. I honestly don't think I'll ever leave Charlotte as far as my permanent residence. Oops. As far as my permanent residence. I love the atmosphere. I love the fact that I, you know, my son has so many opportunities here um, as far as education is concerned. Um, the culture is rich. Like, it is a lot of culture. There is a lot of culture here. A lot of different cultures. And, yeah, I don't ever foresee myself leaving. So, I really can't answer that question either. I know a lot of YouTubers, like, get to a certain level and, like, move to L.A. or New York or Atlanta. I love Atlanta, y'all. I love me going. I love taking a good old Atlanta trip. And because I'm in Charlotte, it's only four hours away. Driving four hours. Like, if I fly, it's, like, 30 minutes. But I don't want to live there. And it's overpopulated. And I feel like Charlotte is just like Atlanta, y'all. You've never been to a Char if you've never been to Charlotte, but you've been to Atlanta, then you've been to Charlotte. <laughs> and that's just what like we have the same shopping. Now there's a couple like restaurants that I like to go to in Atlanta that we don't have here in Charlotte, but I feel like eventually because Charlotte is growing so rapidly, I feel like we will have them. But it gives me somewhere to go. Again, I love going to Atlanta. But I don't want to live there. And as far as, like, L.A., I never had a inkling or even mild desire to want to live on the West Coast. I say that back. Before I left Raleigh, because I used to live in Raleigh, before I left Raleigh, I wanted to go to the west coast but that was because i had a friend that had just moved over there and his stories like he just looked like he was just living his best life and i wanted that too but i found it here in charlotte so yeah new york i don't mind visiting new york it's heavily it's way overpriced everything in new york is overpriced everything but the real estate in new york is overpriced the damn food in New York is overpriced. When I go to New York, you got to have a bag. I don't understand it. And that, I feel like it's the same thing on the West Coast. Like, I feel like everything in Cali is overpriced. Um, Yeah. I'll go visit, but I'm not going to stay there, but maybe a week, and that's it. The last time I went to New York, I stayed for a week and a half. I was ready to come the fuck home. I'm sorry. I don't care how much money I have. I can't. I'm not gonna live in in a city that's just overpriced because of the population because they can get away with it. In a sense, I feel like they do that shit here in Charlotte too. In some areas, um, especially like in the university area. If you don't know a lot about Charlotte, you might not understand what I'm saying in some of the areas that I'm I'm re referencing. But so you got South End, which is like the upper crust area. You've got the university area, which obviously is where the school is, the University of North Carolina at Charlotte. Um, you've got, you know, that's where a lot of the younger crowd lives. you got Midtown, Noda, which again is, is kind of upper crest too, but it's like the artsy upper crest. And then you've got the east side, which is older um, Charlotte. It's like old Charlotte. You got the West Side, which is it's the hood. I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's the hood. It is, but it's like one thing. One thing I do love about Charlotte is that, and one of the things that actually made me want to live in Charlotte is because it's so rich and diverse, and you know you're gonna find all types of people. And you got on this side of the street. If you go from one side of the street across the train tracks to the other you're gonna see so much you're gonna see the people with money the people without money and the people who need the money the most and they all black like it's a lot in between that but you got black people at every level here and in between that sprinkled in you got so much other culture i just love charlotte i'm not gonna leave i might have some investment properties in some other areas but i'm not leaving charlotte yeah, I know it's my OG. Gonna use this to set everything in place. Next question. What is my biggest fear? 
That's hard. My biggest fear is failure, honestly. Um, I know that sounds kind of cliche. Okay, so I'm like, my biggest fear, like, something tangible is tornadoes. I'm sorry. I don't, if they get too windy while it's storming, I start freaking out. I don't. I've been caught in a tornado before. Luckily, it wasn't like a strong, big tornado, but shit was dark and power lines was just busting everywhere. I was in my car. Yeah, I'm scared of tornadoes. But as far as like ultimate, like fear, fear, I'm scared of failure. Um, Especially now. That's always been my fear, even before I had my kid. <clears throat> but, but especially now. Because everything I do affects him. Like, I'm not just living for myself anymore. I'm not just doing the things that I do for myself anymore. Everything I do could positively or negatively affect his entire life. And I have to think about that with every move that I make. So any business venture I entertain, any person that I allow to have access to me, now, I'm not just talking about, like, romantic relationships. I'm talking about, period, friendships, associates, business partners. Anybody that I have a lot, that I allow access to me ultimately affects him as well. Um, and I don't want something that I do to affect him negatively. So I'm afraid of failing, failing as a business person failing as a mother, failing as an entrepreneur, failing just in general. And like, it doesn't just have to do with money. Like to me, failure could be, I could be an emotional failure because I don't do the things that I need to do to heal from my past traumas, which then ultimately trickle down to him. Failure is just not an option. And to think that I might fail at something like scares the crap out of me like that's the majority of where my angst comes from where my anxiety comes from so <clears throat> and that's another reason why i stopped doing youtube videos for a while was because i really didn't feel like i was being successful with it I wasn't getting any sponsorships right away which if you're watching this and you feel like you might want to start a youtube channel you're not going to get immediate sponsorships it takes time like i wasn't getting a lot of comments on my videos some videos will only get like 30 watches and no comments and stuff like that and so i really felt like i wasn't really successful with it but i had to take a step back and realize like everything takes time and like i'm not that person that needs constant reassurance about everything that i do but if i'm doing something and i'm putting a lot of effort into it and i don't receive any type of not applause but like reassurance that you know this is a good job this is you know this is on par this is what's being asked this you know i understood the assignment then i start to shy away from it because i feel like ultimately if i keep doing this and i'm not doing what's being asked i don't understand the assignment i'm gonna fail at it so yeah that's my biggest fear failure and tornadoes <laughs> All right, so that's the end of my Q&A. Um, I like doing this. Like, I really like this. Y'all, make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok <clears throat> and Snapchat and join my Facebook page so that if I do any more Q&As, you can leave your questions too and I can answer your questions because I like this. This was cute. I did have more questions, but I'm done. Like, this is the face. This is it. So... Um, that's all the time I have for questions today, but I will be doing this again. So make sure you do at least follow me on Instagram because that's mostly where I do these Q and A things at. So follow me on Instagram and, uh, make sure you leave me a comment down below. You can also leave me questions down below. So the next time I do a Q and A, I'll take the questions from the comment section and put them in the next video. But until next time, it's time to queen y'all. Hey!